Hello everyone, this is our industrial electronics lab. Today we are going to perform a new experiment related to the SCR. So, uh, the aim of the experiment is to study the R triggering of SCR, means silicon control rectifier. So, first thing, what is triggering? Triggering means turn on the SCR or commutation means turn off the SCR. To perform this experiment, this resistance 1K and 560 ohm breadboard DSO digital storage oscilloscope and Scintec 2712 lab trainer kit are required. Okay. This is the circuit diagram of R triggering. First of all, you see this. Scintec 2712 lab trainer kit is here. Various components are there like SCR, MOSFET, IGBT, UGT, DIAC, PUT, TRIAC and these are DC supply, these are AC supply. Okay? This is potentiometer, variable potentiometer 1 mega ohm and also capacitance are there, diodes are there, diode 1 and 4007 which we will use in this our experiment. Okay, so coming back to the circuit diagram. In the circuit diagram, we have applied 15 volt AC supply and 1k resistance, which is used for the road resistance. And R1 is 560 ohm, and this is potentiometer, which is uh, I have seen. Uh, you have seen this. This potentiometer, variable potentiometer. Okay, which is denoted as RV variable potentiometer and diode 1 and 4007 R to 560 ohm and this is SCR. SCR this terminal is anode, this is cathode and this one is gate. Okay, circuit is complete. Now to turn on this SCR, we will use this R1, RV, diode and R2. Okay, so first of all this R2 resistance is called stabilizing resistance okay so voltage across this r2 should not exist exceed the minimum voltage of this gate okay if this voltage exceed the minimum voltage exceed then minimum voltage of this gate then scr will turn on directly okay then current will flow through this then as you will turn on directly. So this RV resistance is very important. Uh, we can change the resistance by varying knob of this potentiometer. So uh, in, in, in initial case, when RV is minimum, then high current will flow through this RV. Okay. Also, we can uh, change the triggering angle by varying this uh, knob of the potentiometer. Triggering angle may be uh, 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree, or 120 degree. It will increase like this. Okay. So, when RV is minimum, RV is minimum, then high current will flow to this RV, which is coming from the input. Uh, so that current will flow through this RL resistance, then R1, then potentiometer, then diode D1 to the gate terminal of SCR. When RV is minimum, then it it is the it will turn on this SCR. Okay. So if we start increasing the value of the RV, this RV, then triggering angle will increase okay then the current flowing from this rv will reduce it means that it will it will not immediately uh, the current will not immediately given to the gate terminal of the scr it will take some time to turn on this scr okay then if we increase this uh, for, uh, resistance of the rv again then it will take it will take more time to reach to the gate terminal of the SCR then it will take time to the turn on the SCR 
okay this is the overall um, circuit explanation of this r triggering so this is the expected waveform of r triggering here we have applied input side a sine wave then in the output side where we will get in the load resistance okay output at the load resistance according to the triggering angle the output will change see this fire, firing angle change then output will change like this if we increase the value of the potentiometer then this angle also will increase okay like here also according to the changes of the resistance of potentiometer as the value of the potentiometer will increase then uh, time will take to reach the gate, gate voltage then firing angle is change okay so this is the overall circuit connection of RT gain according to the circuit we have connected the so from 15 volt AC supply from this one is 15 volt AC supply connected to the resistance which is 1k this is 1k resistance and another terminal of resistance is connected to the anode of this SCR this is SCR 2p 4m okay anode of the SCR then cathode of the SCR is connected to the negative terminal of 15 volt supply this one cathode this one is cathode cathode is connected to the 0 volt okay then this 560 ohm is connected to the anode of this SCR also connected to the RL resistance this one is 560 resistance which is connected to the resistance 1k okay so another terminal of the 560 is connected to the potentiometer this one is connected to the potentiometer here see here this is 1m potentiometer okay this is the knob by varying this knob we can change the firing angle okay again from the potentiometer we have connected to the diode this potentiometer from the potentiometer see here another terminal of potentiometer is connected to the diode diode d2 here we have used d2 now again another 560 resistance is connected to the gate terminal of scr also in the um, cathode of uh, this diode okay this 560 ohm is connected to the cathode of this diode also connected to the gate terminal of this gate terminal of this scr okay so this is the overall circuit diagram now see here this is dso digital storage oscilloscope uh, we will get away from here okay now i am turn on this scr initially we keep this potentiometer at minimum okay auto scale wait this this probe is connected to the channel 1 and also connected to in between load resistance okay this is rl now turn on this Now turn on see here this is the waveform now i am changing the firing angle by varying this potentiometer knob okay then see here for the changes see here by changing this knob of potentiometer we are getting this output waveform okay also since like this okay 
now measure then turn on this display all and observe this values of output b max is equal to 20.8 volt b min minus 800 millivolt and bpp is 21.6 volt you can trace down this wave from also you can write this data from here okay this is our r triggering of scr experiment